focus today. What with all the excitement about Ira's impending orthodontist appointment tomorrow. But Roadhead never sleeps. That's why I need to call an emergency meeting today based on what happened at the mall. Roadhead is a bigger problem than I could have ever imagined. Ladies, we know that Roadhead is a national epidemic. What I didn't know is that it's infiltrated my own home. I caught my own son, my own flesh and blood, attempting to instigate Roadhead by shopping at Claire's. This is a sad day. Yeah, you're telling me. Dave wants to renew our vows, but I'm probably just gonna phone them in from the aquarium. The new penguin exhibitors are gonna be there forever, you know. We need funding, Gail. What if we dipped into your coupon account? Linda! If you mention my coupon stockade again in broad daylight, I will roast you like a pepper. I mean that. I mean every word of that. Good morning, ladies. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. And don't egg them on. Why are you smiling like that? Who are you, Orphan Annie? Now why don't you go get out of here and Google image Helen Hunt and let me live my life? Ever since we went to see As Good As It Gets and you said, Who is that actress? I, I just want to know. The reason you wanted to know was that you could take it to Google Images, you pervert! I was just trying to make conversation. You weren't even watching the movie. You were watching The Big Chill on your laptop. It's a fun movie! When I go to the movies, just in case I don't like it, I bring my laptop so I can watch The Big Chill. Glenn Close. Jeff Daniels. Oh, I love The Big Chill. Linda, stay out of this! Anyway, let's talk about the mincemeat luge. We all need to look our best. That's why I suggest we each wear two pantsuits. Oh, it, yup, and you know what we need to do? We need to get the community involved. We could try to get some local businesses to support us, like Sean Hayes over at the Butternut. Well, that's not gonna work. Remember, remember Sean was the manager at Blockbuster when Gail went in strapped to a bomb? No more late fees my ass. I had the big chill out for six years and they docked me with 800 big ones. Did yeah, that's enough. Everyone out. I need to be up at 2 a.m. tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you getting up at 2 a.m.? So I'll see you on Monday at 3. Oh, nothing. Iris got his appointment tomorrow at 3. Got up at 2 a.m. to get ready. Hey, hey. What's, going What's going on? The Associated Press is no longer condemning the use of the adverb hopefully in their style. Yeah, would you mind turning down the NPR? It's 2 in the morning. Those who made the adverb the biggest bugaboo of English usage over the last 50 years. Our linguist... Hi, Ira. How you doing, buddy? You all set to come into your appointment? Oh, Gail! Oh, hi, Bruce! I have something funny to ask you. Sure, sure. By any chance, was that you doing Zumba on my front lawn? Oh, I'm not quite sure. Huh. And you know, I've been seeing all your friends, all the ladies. As a matter of fact, I just saw your friend Bonnie. Oh. And you know how I love to see her. Yeah. She's so nice. Yeah, I know. She, she was just getting adjustments for her Invisalign. What? Oh, and Linda. You know your friend Linda? Sure. Linda just got fitted for Invisalign. Son of a shit piece of bitch. And you know what else she did? What? She rescued a dog. I just admire people so much that do that. Oh, you do? Yes. Bruce, can I borrow your pen for a moment? Oh, sure, Gil. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, Ira, what do you say? Let's go in and get this appointment over with. Oh, bye, Bruce. It's my birthday, so that means my family needs to watch me do crunches. Look at me. Oh. Eyes on me. Check it out. Check out your mom's abs. Look at him. Look at him, Ira. Those are the abs you want in a woman. Yeah, Terry, dream on. Oh, it's in your mama. Oh! And I tell Terry I want to do a Zumba DVD. She has the nerve to upstage me in front of my own husband and son. Do I think what would Tanya Harding do? 
<gasps> then Terry starts bitching around. Are you joking? Oh, Terry, you okay? <laughs> We're all doing this for you. None of us want to be here. Is that so, Terry? Yes, that's so, Mom. Is that so, Ira? And Dave, what about you, fat ass? Not, not really, no. I just figured it would be a good alternative to seeing as you have no friends. I have plenty of friends. What are you talking about? Why don't you ever have them over to the house? I don't have them over to the house because of what you did last time I had my friends over to the house. And what was Ter that, Terry, it's Terry? not worth it. Oh, last time my friends were over, we were all sitting here watching a movie. You came downstairs completely nude, covered head to toe in salsa, and screamed, Who wants huevos rancheros now, bitches? That's why. That may be so, Terry. I need to get out of here. Fine. I might even go live with Aunt Lisa in California for the summer. Oh, perfect. That hippie freak. I can't do this anymore. Good. Go pack your bags. You're Greek, and I want you out of here. I'm going to get out of here. No, I, I hate it here. here. You're the house for like a falafel shop. You are absolutely crazy. I think it's high time I tell you something. What, Mom? Dave's not your real father. Oh, my God. Yanni's your father. Stop uh, nobody actually yeah. believes this. Dave, you should Gail. hear this. Remember that PBS event we went to in 91? Uh, Yanni not, was playing? Not particularly, Gail. Well. No. I was underneath the keyboard, taking him like a champ from the best. The man's fertile, you can hear it in his melodies. Six weeks later, I had you. You say this at least twice a year. I don't believe you. Stop it. Why do you think you look so Greek, Terry? I don't want to deal with any of your bullshit. Is that right, Tubby Chubby? We're not going to continue this conversation until you put some makeup on, so I don't think I'm talking to Howard Stern. Or enough! I can't take this anymore. You're not my real mother. I know you kidnapped me from a Costco when I was seven years old. You robbed me of a childhood. You're a terrible woman. I, I haven't been to school. I don't know how to read and write. You don't even let me do the one thing I love, Spanish guitar. I want to go to New Mexico and find my real parents. You treat your husband like shit. You know, he's a good man. You tell your daughter she's fat. You locked up an SAT tutor for 12 years and fed him on raw steaks. You should go to jail for what you've done. Shame on you. Oh, could you come here for a moment? I'm pretty sweaty. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. I'm just gonna put on my birthday shirt and we can start having some fun around here. Hey, Dave, you idiot. Why don't you make yourself useful? Go get those blueberries. Bring them in here. Alright. Oh, God. Did you not watch this blueberries day? I, I forgot. Are you, are you telling me that we don't need a sink? Is that what you're saying? No, no, that's not what I'm but saying. That's what I'm hearing, Dave. Why do we have a sink if you're not gonna wash the blueberries? Right? Why are we having it take up space in the kitchen then? Right? And why are we having it?